Recently, the internet was divided over this photograph of a dress. Team White and Gold and Team Blue and Black were both adamant about their perception of this dress being correct. There were a lot of great follow-up videos explaining why people perceived it so differently. However, in some ways, everyone was wrong. Although we often think of color as an inherent quality of an object, the truth is much more complicated than that. When we look at something, light hits the light-sensitive parts of our eyes, and our brain interprets the signal. This ties into what a lot of other science people on the internet have been telling us. The reason we see the dress differently is because our brains aren't all making the same adjustments. But what about the other picture of the dress? This one, that shows the true color. Why did it look differently in the other picture even though it was the same dress? As humans, we cannot see solid objects. All we can see is light that has interacted with those objects. This means that our light sources have a lot of influence on how we perceive things. To understand how light interacts with objects, we first must understand that light is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum and has a wavelength. Larger wavelengths, up to 700 nanometers, appear red, and shorter wavelengths, down to 400 nanometers, appear violet, with the rest of the rainbow resting in between. There are four different ways that light can interact with objects, depending on the molecular structure of the objects. Reflection is the bouncing of light. A mirror is a good example of something that reflects most light. But, in fact, anything that appears to have a color is reflecting light of certain wavelengths, namely the wavelengths corresponding to that color. If you're wondering what happened to the rest of the wavelengths when only specific colors are reflected, the answer is that they're absorbed. Anything that appears black is absorbing all of the light, which is why sometimes people say that black isn't a color. It is what we see when our eyes don't detect any light. Glass is a material that doesn't really reflect or absorb light. Rather, it transmits it, meaning that the light passes through the material unaffected. Similar, but different, is how a prism interacts with light. The light passes through the prism, but it is bent in the process. Different wavelengths, and thus colors, of light tend to be bent different amounts, which is how prisms create rainbows. I hope that now you can see that color isn't a property of a material, but rather a type of sun. The original light source, interacting with the material, then detected by the eye, and interpreted by the brain, equals color.